A crew member said, what's that? And I'm starting to look around, trying to understand what's that? What are they talking about? The first thing we try to do is to take pictures of what we see so that we have photographic evidence. Black Knight is just one of many things that we don't have explanations for. In the vast expanse of space, orbits a mystery that has puzzled scientists and conspiracy theorists alike for decades. The Black Knight Satellite. An object shrouded in secrecy, its origins and purpose remain unknown, sparking debates and theories ranging from alien surveillance to ancient artifacts. Join us as we discuss the history, explore the controversial theories, and jump into the intriguing blend of science and mystery surrounding this enigmatic satellite. In 1899, Nikola Tesla, a Serbian-American inventor known for his groundbreaking work in electromagnetism and radio technology, embarked on an experiment that would inadvertently contribute to one of the most enduring space mysteries. While conducting wireless transmission tests in his Colorado Springs lab, Tesla detected unusual signs that he initially believed were attempts at interplanetary communication. These signals characterized by distinct rhythmic patterns, were unlike anything Tesla or his contemporaries had encountered, leading him to speculate about their extraterrestrial origin. Tesla's findings did not occur in isolation. In the years following, other scientists and inventors reported similar anomalies. Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian inventor known for his development of the radio telegraph system, also encountered strange signals during his experiments with long-distance communication. Like Tesla, Marconi was puzzled by these findings, which seemed to suggest that someone, or something, was attempting to communicate across the vastness of space. The concept of an unidentified object orbiting Earth began to take shape in the public consciousness, fueled by these early accounts. However, it wasn't until the mid-20th century that the narrative of the Black Knight satellite truly began to form. Reports from the 1950s and 60s added to the intrigue, with claims of an unknown object detected in polar orbit around Earth, an orbit that at that time, neither the United States nor the Soviet Union had the technology to achieve with their satellites. The story of the Black Knight gained further traction with the advent of the space age. In 1957, the launch of Sputnik 1 by the Soviet Union marked the beginning of humanity's quest to explore outer space. Yet, it was the subsequent discovery or rather the speculation of an alien satellite monitoring Earth that captured the imagination of the public and conspiracy theorists alike. Adding to the mystery were the long-delayed echoes, or LDEs, reported by Norwegian scientist Jørgen Hels in the 1920s. Hels observed that some radio signals he sent were echoed back to him after a few seconds, without any plausible explanation. This phenomenon, which could not easily be explained by known natural processes, further fueled speculation about the presence of an artificial satellite equipped with technology far beyond human capabilities. Despite the absence of concrete evidence, the legend of the Black Knight satellite has persisted. It's been a topic of fascination, debate, and investigation among amateur astronomers, conspiracy theorists, and even some scientists. The allure of the unknown combined with humanity's innate desire to explore and understand the cosmos, has kept this story alive. The early observations and experiments by Tesla, Marconi, and others laid the groundwork for one of the most captivating mysteries in the annals of space exploration. While skeptics dismissed the Black Knight as a mere amalgam of misunderstood natural phenomena and space debris, the legend continues to inspire wonder and curiosity. Whether the Black Knight satellite is a figment of collective imagination or a yet-to-be-explained reality remains a question that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As the space age dawned, a shadowy figure emerged from the cosmos into our collective consciousness. But how did a tale of unknown origins captivate the world? Stay tuned as the legend takes shape. The legend of the Black Knight satellite has captivated the world since the mid-20th century, evolving from scattered reports into a full-blown mystery that merges science fiction with tantalizing snippets of fact. The story began to take shape in the 1950s, amid the Cold War and the dawn of the Space Age, when newspapers reported the discovery of an unknown object orbiting Earth. 
This period was ripe for such a legend to flourish, as the world was already on edge with fears of unseen enemies and the race to conquer space. In 1954, the narrative of the Black Knight gained its first significant foothold in public awareness through media reports. Newspapers like the St. Louis Dispatch and the San Francisco Examiner published articles suggesting the existence of an artificial satellite of unknown origin circling the Earth. These reports were speculative, but tapped into a zeitgeist of the era, where anything seemed possible in the vast, uncharted expanse of outer space. The intrigue deepened in the late 1950s, specifically in 1957, with the launch of Sputnik 1 by the Soviet Union, marking humanity's first artificial object to orbit the Earth. However, the existence of another object, already in space and of unknown origin, challenged the narrative of space exploration as understood by the public. The speculation was that if neither the United States nor the Soviet Union could account for this mysterious object, then its origins must be far more extraordinary. By 1960, the story of the Black Knight satellite had evolved from speculative newspaper articles to a matter of national security interest. The Pentagon, responding to reports from tracking stations of an unidentified object in polar orbit, acknowledged its existence, but could not provide an explanation for its origins or purpose. Polar orbit was significant because it suggested a level of technological sophistication not yet achieved by human-made satellites at that time. The object's ability to orbit over every part of the Earth, unlike the more limited equatorial orbits of early satellites, added to the mystery. Amid these developments, the Black Knight legend was not just a curiosity among conspiracy theorists, but a topic of interest in the scientific community and the general public. The lack of concrete explanations for the object's presence and capabilities allowed the legend to grow, fueled by human fascination with the unknown and the limitless possibilities of space. Over the years, the legend of the Black Knight satellite has been bolstered by various reported sightings and interpretations of data that seem to defy straightforward explanation. From astronauts reporting unusual objects in space to amateur radio operators receiving strange signals, each account has added layers to the legend. Despite attempts by scientists and skeptics to debunk the stories as misunderstandings of natural phenomena or misidentifications of space debris, the legend persists. Today, the Black Knight satellite remains an emblematic figure at the crossroads of science, conspiracy theory, and the unquenchable human thirst for discovery. Whether it's a lost piece of space history, an alien observer, or merely a captivating story born from the fears and hopes of the space age, the Black Knight continues to intrigue. Its legacy is a reminder of the vast unknowns that lie beyond our planet and the enduring allure of the mysteries that orbit in the darkness of space. From polar orbits to advanced technology beyond our reach, the story of the Black Knight beckons us to consider if we are truly alone. Up next, we delve into the theories that propose an otherworldly source. The mystery of the Black Knight satellite has sparked a wide array of theories, with one of the most captivating being its possible extraterrestrial origin. This theory suggests that the Black Knight is not just any space debris or satellite, but a probe from an alien civilization sent to monitor Earth. This idea has intrigued people around the globe, stirring debates and discussions about our place in the universe and the possibility of contact with other intelligent life forms. One of the core arguments supporting the alien satellite theory is the satellite's supposed ancient origin and advanced technology. Proponents point to Nikola Tesla's early 20th century experiments, during which he claimed to have received signals from space. These signals, some believe, were the Black Knight attempting to communicate. The technological capabilities implied by its polar orbit, a feat not achieved by human-made satellites until years later, further fuels speculation about its extraterrestrial origins. Another intriguing aspect of the theory is the satellite's reported size and weight. Reports from the 1960s suggested that the Black Knight was much larger and heavier than any satellite of that era could have been, leading to further speculation about its advanced technology. The idea that an alien civilization could have sent a probe to Earth thousands of years ago challenges our understanding of history and our technological achievements. The implications of such theories are profound, if the Black Knight were indeed an extraterrestrial probe, it would mean that an alien civilization has taken an interest in Earth long before humans had the capability to explore space. 
This raises the questions about the intent of such monitoring and what it could mean for humanity. Are we being observed, and if so, for what purpose? The prospect of alien surveillance suggests that we might not be alone in the universe and that other civilizations are far more advanced than ours. Critics of the alien satellite theory argue that there's a lack of concrete evidence to support such claims. They point out that many supposed sightings and reports of the Black Knight can be explained by natural phenomena or mistaken identity of known satellites and space debris. Skeptics emphasize the need for scientific rigor and evidence-based conclusions when exploring such extraordinary claims. Despite skepticism, the alien theories surrounding the Black Knight continue to capture the imagination of many. The mystery invites speculation about what lies beyond our planet and whether we might one day discover evidence of extraterrestrial life. The enduring fascination with the Black Knight satellite serves as a testament to humanity's quest for knowledge and the eternal question of whether we're alone in the universe. As we continue to explore space and expand our technological capabilities, the mystery of the Black Knight remains a compelling story. It challenges us to keep an open mind about the possibilities of what might exist beyond our current understanding, reminding us of the vastness of space and the potential for incredible discoveries yet to be made. Whether the Black Knight is an alien probe or merely a piece of space history, its legend encourages us to look up at the stars and wonder about the mysteries they hold. While alien theories abound, the voice of science calls for clarity. Are there logical explanations for these celestial mysteries? Discover the scientific community's response to the alien satellite theory. The Black Knight satellite story, while captivating, has faced considerable scientific skepticism. Scientists and researchers often seek rational explanations for phenomena that are initially deemed mysterious or extraterrestrial. This approach applies to the Black Knight legend, where natural phenomena and space debris are considered likely explanations for the supposed satellite. NASA's stance on the issue is clear. What's often referred to as a Black Knight satellite can be attributed to space debris or misinterpretation of sensor data. Space is littered with debris, including spent rocket stages, defunct satellites, and fragments from collisions or disintegration. These objects can reflect sunlight and appear as unidentifiable objects from Earth or to spacecraft sensors, leading to potential misidentification as a Black Knight. One notable instance often associated with the Black Knight was explained by NASA as a thermal blanket lost during a space shuttle mission. This mundane piece of space junk became the center of speculation simply because of its appearance in space and the human tendency to find patterns or significance in the unknown. Beyond space debris, natural phenomena offer explanations for the signals that early observers like Nikola Tesla believed were from extraterrestrial sources. Pulsars, discovered in the late 1960s, are a prime example. These rapidly spinning neutron stars emit beams of electromagnetic radiation, which can be detected as regular pulses of radio waves from Earth. Before their nature was understood, pulsars could easily be interpreted as artificial signals due to their precise and regular timing, which might seem to suggest an intelligent source. The case of LDEs, long-delayed echoes, another mysterious phenomenon linked to the Black Knight, has also been subject to scrutiny. Various theories have been proposed to explain LDEs, ranging from atmospheric conditions affecting radio waves to reflections from the moon or even more complex interactions in the ionosphere. While the exact mechanism behind LEDs remains a topic of research, the scientific community tends towards explanations grounded in natural radio wave behavior rather than extraterrestrial communication. Critics of the alien satellite theory argue that the evidence for the Black Knight's existence is circumstantial and often relies on anecdotal reports or interpretations of incomplete data. The human propensity for pattern recognition and the desire to find meaning in the unexplained can lead to the acceptance of extraordinary claims without extraordinary evidence. In the search for truth, the scientific method requires skepticism and rigorous testing of hypotheses. The mysteries attributed to the Black Knight satellite, when examined through this lens, reveals more about human perception and the challenges of space observation than about alien observers. As our technology and understanding of space improve, phenomena that once seemed inexplicable can be revisited and often explained without resorting to the extraterrestrial hypothesis. 
The legend of the Black Knight satellite serves as a reminder of the vastness of our ignorance about the universe and the importance of continuing to question and investigate with an open mind. Yet it also underscores the need for critical thinking and the application of scientific principles in interpreting the unknown. Despite skepticism, personal tales from the final frontier persist. Hear the stories of astronauts and stargazers who claim to have witnessed the Black Knight themselves. The legend of the Black Knight satellite is not just built on theories and speculations, but also on personal accounts and eyewitness testimonies, particularly from astronauts and amateur astronomers. These stories play a crucial role in keeping the myth alive, offering first-hand experiences that often challenge the conventional understanding of space debris and natural phenomena. One of the most cited testimonies comes from astronaut Gordon Cooper. In 1963, during his solo flight aboard Mercury 9, Cooper reported seeing a glowing green object ahead of his capsule and heading towards him. His sighting was corroborated by the tracking station in Muccia, Australia, which also picked up on the unidentified object on radar. However, NASA later dismissed the sighting, attributing it to a malfunction in the capsule's electrical system that caused high levels of carbon dioxide, leading to hallucinations. Despite NASA's explanation, Cooper's account remains a cornerstone for those who believe in the Black Knight's existence, as he was a highly respected astronaut and pilot known for his precision and reliability. Amateur astronomers have also contributed to the Black Knight narrative through their telescopic observations and radio signal detections. Individuals using home-built radio telescopes have reported intercepting strange signals, which they claim could not be attributed to known satellites or natural cosmic sources. While these signals could be explained by earthly sources or overlook natural phenomena, the lack of definitive identification fuels speculation about their origin. In the late 1990s, another incident added to the Black Knight lore. The STS-88 Space Shuttle mission, the first dedicated to assembling the International Space Station, captured images of a peculiar object in space. These images, available in NASA's own archives, show a black, elongated figure floating near the ISS. While NASA identified the object as a lost thermal blanket, the clarity and strangeness of the images led others to claim it was the Black Knight. The visual evidence, rare in the history of the myth, gave new life to the legend and prompted further discussions and investigation among enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Personal accounts, especially from credible sources like astronauts, carry significant weight, Human observation and testimony have a profound impact on how we interpret unexplained phenomena. The stories of the Black Knight satellite are no exception, blending the authority of eyewitnesses with the allure of the unknown. Critics argue that human perception is not infallible, and what is witnessed under the extraordinary conditions of space travel can be misinterpreted or affected by numerous factors. The high-pressure environment, the physiological effects of space on the human body, and even the psychological impact of isolation could influence an astronaut's experiences and perceptions. Despite these considerations, the personal accounts and eyewitness testimonies associated with the Black Knight satellite continue to fascinate and provoke debate. They highlight the human element in the quest to understand our universe, reminding us of our innate desire to explore the unknown and solve its mysteries. Whether these stories point to an extraterrestrial observer or simply misunderstood fragments of our own spacefaring endeavors, they underscore the enduring appeal of the Black Knight legend and our collective fascination with the cosmos. The myth of the Black Knight doesn't live by sightings alone. It thrives in the stories we tell. Next, we explore how the media and popular culture have immortalized this cosmic mystery. The Black Knight satellite has become a modern myth, largely fueled by media coverage and its portrayal in popular culture. This enigmatic tale has been featured in newspapers, on television, and across the Internet, each iteration adding layers to its mystery. The role of the media in shaping public perception of the Black Knight cannot be overstated, as sensational stories and speculative reports have transformed it from a curious anecdote into a legendary alien artifact. In the early days, newspaper articles were the primary source of information for the public. Reports from the 1950s and 60s hinted at an unknown object in space, described with just enough vagueness to ignite the imagination. Without concrete evidence or a clear understanding of space phenomena, these reports planted the seeds of intrigue in the minds of the readers. 
They suggested the existence of something beyond the ordinary, something that could not be easily explained by the science of the time. As television became a dominant medium, the Black Knight found new life in documentaries and news segments. These programs often presented the satellite as an unresolved mystery, framing it in a way that emphasized its otherworldly implications. The visual nature of television allowed producers to use dramatic reconstructions and visual effects to depict the Black Knight, making the concept more tangible and compelling for their viewers. This visual representation played a significant role in cementing the Black Knight's place in the collective imagination. Night Myth exploded in popularity. Online forums, blogs, and social media platforms have become hotbeds for discussion and speculation about the satellite. The ease with which information and misinformation can spread online has greatly amplified the Black Knight's mythos. Enthusiasts and skeptics alike share images, purported evidence, and theories, creating a digital archive of speculation that spans decades. Popular culture has also embraced the Black Knight satellite, incorporating it into movies, television shows, and even video games. These portrayals often take creative liberties, further blurring the lines between fact and fiction. The Black Knight has been depicted as everything from an ancient alien artifact to a top-secret military satellite, showcasing the flexibility of the myth as a narrative device. This inclusion in popular media not only entertains, but also reinforces the Black Knight's status as a cultural icon of mystery and speculation. The cumulative effect of media coverage and popular culture has been profound. What might have remained a footnote in the history of space exploration has become a symbol of humanity's fascination with the unknown. The Black Knight satellite story serves as a case study in how media can shape and amplify myths, turning them into enduring legends that captivate the public's imagination. Whether seen as a testament to human curiosity or a cautionary tale about the spread of unfounded claims, the Black Knight remains a fascinating example of the power of stories in the digital age. As tales of the Black Knight captivate our imagination, modern researchers are paving the way to unravel the truth. What does the future hold for unraveling the mysteries of space debris and cosmic phenomena? Modern research and technological advancements have opened new avenues for investigating space debris and mysteries, including the Black Knight satellite. Space archaeology, a field that studies human-made objects in space, plays a crucial role in this exploration. By analyzing the orbit and characteristics of space debris, scientists can piece together the history of space exploration and better understand the objects that surround our planet. Technological advancements in satellite tracking and imaging have significantly improved our ability to monitor space debris. With more sophisticated sensors and algorithms, we can now identify and track smaller objects in orbit with greater accuracy. This capability is essential for studying known space debris and investigating anomalies that might have once been dismissed as mere myths or unidentified objects. The field of space archaeology not only helps catalog and manage space debris, but also offers insights into the technological advancements and historical missions of different spacefaring nations. By examining the debris left behind, researchers can trace the evolution of satellite technology and understand the challenges faced during early space missions. Looking to the future, space exploration is set to solve many enigmas that currently baffle scientists and enthusiasts alike. Missions designed to clean up space debris, such as satellite retrieval programs, will provide opportunities to closely examine objects that have been in orbit for decades. This could shed light on the origins and purposes of mysterious objects, including those associated with the Black Knight legend. Furthermore, as we plan missions to more distant destinations, such as Mars and beyond, our understanding of space and its myriad phenomena will deepen. The development of new propulsion technologies, space habitats, and life support systems will likely unveil new discoveries and solve old mysteries. The integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning in space exploration will also play a pivotal role in deciphering the secrets of the cosmos. AI algorithms can analyze vast amounts of data from telescopes and space probes, identifying patterns and anomalies that would be impossible for humans to detect unaided. This could lead to breakthroughs in understanding the nature of unidentified objects in space and their origins. The Black Knight Satellite Saga, weaving through tales of early signal detections to modern space archaeology, highlights our perpetual quest for understanding the unknown. 
this journey underscores the critical need to balance fascination with factual inquiry, distinguishing science fiction from science fact. Let's continue to explore space mysteries with an open-minded skepticism, fueling our curiosity while grounding our discoveries in evidence-based science.